Yo, what's going on? It's Jordan McLeod here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why every man must learn how to fight and do martial arts, whether that's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, boxing, wrestling, Judo, MMA, it doesn't matter. I truly believe that every man must learn how to fight, take up some type of martial art, being able to know how to defend himself and protect his loved ones. And I have six reasons listed down below inside of this notion board to show you why as a man you should learn how to fight and at this point of the recording it's towards the end of january 2024 so we still have 11 months of the new year i truly believe that this should be the year that if you haven't already that you start training a martial art because you're going to become literally the best version of yourself physically and mentally as i said earlier i have six reasons listed in my notion board as to why you must learn how to fight and take a martial art and then towards the end of the video i'll give you the proper action steps that you need in order to actually start learning how to fight, pick up a martial art, stay consistent with it, and overall be successful with it so you can be the best version of yourself this year and for the next years to come. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's hop into the video. So the first reason is that you're going to have a high sense of confidence and low anxiety, but not for why you think you will have a high sense of confidence and low anxiety. A lot of people think that when you start taking martial arts and you learn how to fight that you'll become confident because you'll learn how to fight. But here is how I look at it, is that your confidence will come from your durability to get your ass kicked, not your ability to kick ass. I repeat, your confidence comes from your durability to get your ass kicked, because you will get your ass kicked, not your ability to kick ass. And your anxiety will diminish the more you put yourself in uncomfortable situations through martial arts. Because when you're learning how to do a martial art for the first time, you will be put in uncomfortable situations. You will be stepping out of your comfort zone. You are going to have a sense of anxiety, but the more you do that, the more you step out of your comfort zone, the more you're putting yourself in positions where you are uncomfortable, the more you are comfortable being uncomfortable. And as far as your confidence coming from the durability to get your ass kicked, this is at least where I get my confidence from. I get my confidence from the fact that I get my ass kicked every single week, every sparring session, whether I'm doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Muay Thai. So just to give you a background on me and my martial arts background, I did Taekwondo for a little bit back in 2017 for a year and a half. And then I started picking up Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai in November of 2021. I do more of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu than Muay Thai, but for 2024, my goal is to do more of Muay Thai and do Muay Thai three to four times a week. But I get my ass kicked every single week, man. But I get my confidence from that because I know that's making me stronger. I know that's making me stronger mentally. It's making me stronger physically from a technique perspective. I'm getting better at my offense. I'm getting better at my defense. And what I've learned through martial arts and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specifically and Muay Thai, but because I do Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu more, I'll say Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I've learned that the harshest conditions will make you stronger, right? The more harsh conditions you put yourself in, the stronger you will get. And that's why I'm confident because I know that even though I'm getting my ass kicked, I'm kicking some ass too, but I'm getting my ass kicked. I still know how to compose myself when I'm in those conditions and I'm actually getting better when it comes to being in those conditions as far as not getting my ass kicked so much, but all that is just making me mentally tougher, which we'll talk about later. And that also gives me confidence because I know 99% of men walking this earth, they won't be able to compete with me or be a threat to me because they're not putting themselves in these situations multiple times a week like how I've been for the past almost two and a half years. And that's why I believe as a man, once you start to learn how to fight and you take up a martial art, your confidence will actually come from you getting your ass kicked, being in these bad positions, right? putting yourself in more of these stressful situations and having a little bit of anxiety at first, but the more you put yourself in these positions, the more confident you will become, I promise you. All right, so that was reason number one. Reason number two, I'm not gonna lie, you will become more handsome and attractive as a man, right? You're gonna be burning body fat because you're constantly gonna be in a state of cardio, whether that's intense cardio or mid to low intense cardio. You will be building muscle, right? Because you're gonna use a lot of different muscles when you are doing martial arts, especially when you're going up against resistant opponents and you're grappling with them or you're clinching up with them like how you do in Muay Thai, you're going to be going up against a lot of resistance with other people's bodies, which will help you become stronger, which can also help you build muscle. 
and you're going to look more aesthetic because like i said you're going to be burning a lot of calories and especially if you're in a deficit and you're constantly in a deficit you're going to lean down you're going to be able to get more of a six-pack abs your body is going to start to look a lot more proportionate which will also play into the aesthetics i've also noticed personally for me especially right here this was a picture i took the other day my face has been looking a lot leaner and my face has always been lean but especially recently my face has been looking a lot leaner because i've been picking up my volume of training when it comes to muay thai specifically because i believe that muay thai is more intense when it comes to the cardio than jujitsu overall in my opinion because you're doing a lot of cardio intensive movements and activities during a muay thai class whereas brazilian jiu-jitsu is a lot more chill during the class but then when you're rolling aka sparring that's when it can be a little bit more intense and more cardio is involved but like i said like right here this was i think in the summer of 2022 after a hot summer day of doing jujitsu you can see my abs are popping right chest is popping i'm tired but I'm, I'm very lean because you're burning a lot of calories right you're sweating a lot especially in the hot summer days those in my opinion are the best days to do martial arts because you're going to get a really good workout in your body is going to be nice and loose and limber and like i said you'll look more aesthetic and as i said earlier with my face it's a lot easier for me to maintain my facial aesthetics and attractiveness in a humble way of saying because one of the things i help men do on this channel is that i help them become the most handsome and attractive version of themselves through looks maxing self-improvement self-care and if you want to learn more about how i do that then i would highly suggest that you check out my program called the inbound attraction blueprint where i show men how to become the men that women select approach and pursue and like i said become the most handsome and attractive version of themselves and one of the ways that i'm able to keep up with my aesthetics and just overall take care of myself is through martial arts is through training brazilian jiu-jitsu and muay thai and you'll be able to sustain your level of attractiveness your leanness and your overall aesthetics for the long term because martial arts is a fun activity to do and if it's a fun activity to do you're more than likely going to be able to sustain it for the long term so that's reason number two you will become more handsome and attractive as a man reason number three and i talked about this a little bit ago but you will get stronger physically and mentally you'll get stronger by manipulating another person's body and resistance especially when you're grappling like doing brazilian jiu-jitsu wrestling judo you're doing takedowns you're doing throws hip tosses etc you're going to be constantly having to manipulate manipulate people's body which can actually make you stronger and also allow you to build muscle however you will also grow mentally stronger when you spar when you get hit when you get subbed when you get choked or your limbs get bent in ways where they're not supposed to and then you have to tap which is a sub in brazilian jiu-jitsu and you're constantly getting put in bad positions that you have to fight your way out of figure out how to maneuver out of those bad positions and then get in a dominant position that's going to make you mentally stronger as far as being more quick thinking being on your toes as far as constantly being proactive being creative overall just making you more of a stronger man and the beauty of martial arts is that they don't only make you better externally as far as aesthetics skill technique but you're also going to become stronger as a person and grow as a person internally you will learn so much about yourself when you get hit when you get subbed when a limb gets bent in a way it's not supposed to when you get choked when you're in bad uncomfortable positions someone's on top of you and they're about to choke you out or in an mma setting someone's on top of you and they're doing a ground and pound overall when you are getting hit and, and when you're doing martial arts people aren't just going to be going crazy on you like it's a ufc fight it's not going to be like that it's going to be more controlled and people are going to be looking out for you as a training partner so don't get discouraged don't get scared but i'm just saying you will face adversity but that's going to make you stronger even more because of it and like right here this is a picture of me training with one of my teammates his name is nathaniel he's really freaking good he's a brown belt he kicks my ass all the time so this was just a picture where we were doing stand-up and i was able to get a takedown on him but he kicks my ass every single time so this isn't a flex on him this is just i just happen to look good here but he kicks my ass all the time which that's how it's gonna be especially in jujitsu when you go up against higher ranked belts they're gonna kick your ass but them kicking your ass is also a way of them helping you level up and grow and someone like nathaniel and even everybody that i train with at my gym we're all about helping each other grow and being the best martial artists that we can ultimately be so that's reason number three you're going to get stronger physically and mentally when you learn how to fight and you do martial arts reason number four you're going to develop amazing friendships and have a sense of camaraderie with the people that you train with 
because you'll be around like-minded individuals and you'll be able to make new friends and be a part of social groups, network, etc. because of it. And the funny thing is a lot of people think that people that train in martial arts and they're fighting every week, every day, a lot of people think that those type of people are just these aggressive, angry, mean people that just like to beat people up just for the hell of it. However, that's really not the case because when you join a martial art gym and you learn how to fight, you'll see that really the people that are in your gym, they're literally one of the nicest people that you will ever meet. Some of the nicest people I've ever met in my life came from my gym that I train at. Everyone that I talk to at that gym have been nothing but nice and kind to me and to other people. And I don't think that's a coincidence. I think especially when you're learning how to fight and you're doing martial arts, you're actually getting a lot of anger out when you're doing that. You're relieving a lot of stress. You're actually calming yourself down, in my opinion, because you're able to actually use martial arts as an outlet to let some steam off, to just decompress, relax, but you're also having fun. You're also interacting with other people and you're learning a lot of cool techniques and learning how to defend yourself overall. So when you're around people in this type of gym, you're gonna make a lot of friends. You're gonna build a lot of great connections like how I've been able to. Like I've been able to build a lot of awesome friendships with people at my gym. I go out with a lot of my friends from jujitsu almost every weekend and we have a great time. And especially when you're training for a competition like a jujitsu competition or a Muay Thai fight and you're in a fight camp, like especially when you have multiple people at the gym that are going to be in the same competition as you or they're going to be a part of the same fight tournament as you, just the atmosphere when you guys are all training for the competition and and preparing, it's like you're going to go to war, right? And that sense of camaraderie and just that overall vibe of the environment of people constantly pushing you and you're all in this together type of deal, right? Everybody's in the trenches with each other. We're all grinding. We're all trying to get better. We're all pushing each other. We're all raising each other up to be the best versions of ourselves. That is just the best environment to be because that's where you're going to get the most growth at. And that sense of camaraderie is just priceless. And there's nothing better than being in a group of like-minded individuals who are genuinely good people. They're supportive, right? And everyone's just pushing each other to be their best. So that's reason number four is that you're going to develop amazing friendships and a sense of camaraderie with the people at your gym. Reason number five, you're going to be a lot more charismatic. And the reason why you're going to be a lot more charismatic is because you will be around more people. And since you're going to be around more people, whether you're introverted or extroverted, you're going to work out your social muscle, which will help you become a better communicator and just overall a more charismatic person. And martial arts makes you more interesting too. You have a lot more to talk about. You have a lot more to you that's interesting, that's valuable, that people want to learn more about. Like, Whenever I tell people I do martial arts, like they start to ask me a lot of questions. They look at me different. I can tell that they find me more interesting. And I believe as a man, I talked about this in a few videos ago where I talked about how to be more confident with women. And one of the ways to be more confident with women is by being a renaissance man, a modern day renaissance man. Or in that video, I talked about how you want to be like Batman, like how Batman has a lot of unique set of skills and how he specializes in a lot of different things. That's how you want to be as a man because you're just going to be overall more interesting. You have a lot more to talk about. People are going to want to be around you because you have a lot going for yourself and you're just going to have a lot more cool things to talk about and a lot more value to offer, in my opinion. And you can also help other people get into martial arts, which can also better their life. What I'm doing through this video right now. Also, since you're around more people and you're constantly stepping out of your comfort zone, you'll just become more social, more interesting, even if you're an introvert, like I said, which will just automatically make you charismatic. I'm actually a very introverted person. It may not seem that way because I create YouTube videos and I talk, but I am introverted. However, me being around the people at my gym and just constantly being around people and talking to people at my gym, that has really helped me with my communication skills, with my social skills. I did a lot of sales with my other business. So I was constantly sharpening that social muscle, but just being around people every single week and doing something like martial arts too, on top of that, not only am I stepping out of my comfort zone, but I'm also becoming a better communicator and I'm just working out my social muscle, which is going to make me even more charismatic. So especially if you're someone that's introverted like me, or maybe you're just someone that you feel like you need to sharpen up your social skills, martial arts will allow you to do that because you're going to be around a lot of great people. And since you're always going to be around people, 
people and you're going to be doing something like martial arts, which will cause you to step out of your comfort zone. You'll also be able to have a lot of awesome people around you that you're going to constantly be able to talk to, which will just make you more outgoing and just a better conversationalist and just someone that people want to talk to. So that was reason number five. And then moving on to the sixth and final reason. So reason number six, simply by learning how to fight and taking up a martial art, you're going to be a lot more masculine and badass because how could you not be more masculine and badass when you take up a martial art and you learn how to fight? Because I'll be honest with you, like to me, there's not too many things that's cooler or there's not too many things that is more fulfilling than knowing that you can take care of yourself and protect yourself and loved ones in case something ever happens to where you need to defend yourself and protect other people around you, right? Now, I'm not saying go looking for fights. You always want to defend yourself and and fight as a last resort. If you have no choice but to fight and defend yourself, then yes, you need to do that. But always resort to fighting and violence as a last resort. Try to de-escalate. Don't try to instigate. Don't try to be a tough guy. Don't try to pick fights or try to prove yourself because you've been training for a little bit. Don't do anything like that. Always resort to violence as a last resort. And it's like the saying goes, it's better to be a warrior in the garden than a gardener in the war. So with that being said, those are the six reasons as to why every man must learn how to fight and take up a martial art. Now I'm going to go through the action steps for you to take so that you can actually figure out, okay, which martial art should I do, Jordan? And then how you can actually find a great gym that will actually help you along your journey as a martial artist and how to actually stay consistent with this. So let's get into the action steps. So number one, pick a martial art that you find interesting and can see yourself sticking to. So I personally always liked Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I think once I started Taekwondo, I came across a video by Jocko Willink and Joe Rogan, and they were talking about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And once I learned about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu through those two guys, I've seen Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in movies and TV shows and stuff like that, but I didn't know that it was actually Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, if that makes sense. I just thought it was awesome martial art moves. But once I actually learned about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and started doing my own research about it, that's when I became hooked. However, in my opinion, I think it makes sense to do a grappling art and a striking art. If you can fit that into your schedule, if you can set a budget aside per month to dedicate to those two martial arts, either one is going to work well for you. It's really just going to depend on which one grabs your attention. But for me, that was grappling. However, my mindset was I always wanted to be able to take care of myself, whether I had to defend myself standing up because all fights start standing up. Or if for some reason the fight went to the ground, I wanted to be able to take care of myself on the ground. So either way, I wanted to be able to defend myself and be dangerous standing up just as much as I would be on the ground, which is also why I'm getting my volume of training up when it comes to Muay Thai. So again, it's really just going to be dependent on your preference. But once you find a martial art that's interesting and that you want to do, then the second thing that you want to do is you want to research the highest rated martial art gym in your area and you want to go try out a free class or a free seven day trial so that you can get a feel for the gym, get a feel for the gym culture and the people there. And of course, actually get a feel for the martial art, whether that's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Muay Thai, boxing, wrestling, Judo, MMA, etc. That's just going to allow you to get a good feel to see if the martial art, if the gym are a good fit for you. And then number three, after a couple of weeks or a month of training, whether that's striking or grappling or both, I would ask your coach or your instructor if you're ready for sparring if you're not already sparring and then start sparring. I know sparring can be a little bit scary at first, but I'm telling you when you're at a good gym, your coach, your instructor, they're going to know your skill level and they're going to make sure that you're paired up with people who are equivalent to your skill level or close to your skill level. Or even if they're not close to your skill level, they'll make sure that those people look out for you. And you'll just have to let the person know that you're sparring with. Hey man, I'm new. This is my first time sparring. Can we just go light? Can you just take it easy on me? Do you mind if you just let me work and maybe you can help me with my technique. Everyone's going to look out for you. People are going to be understanding about that because we all started from zero. We were all day one new beginners to the martial arts. So we understand, hey, like he's new, just like how I was new or she's new, just like how I used to be new. So everyone at the gym should be looking out for you. And if they're not willing to look out for you, if they're not willing to work with you, then they are not the gym for you. So the school that I train with when it comes to jujitsu, our coach doesn't let us roll on our first day. We'll usually start 
start rolling maybe after a week or two after we've been doing a couple of classes. And that's more so going to be dependent on your comfortability when it comes to rolling and jujitsu. But my coach doesn't let us roll on our first day just because we're brand spanking new to the martial art, right? When it comes to Muay Thai at my gym, now my coach is starting to test people into our intermediate and advanced classes where the intermediate classes, that's when you're starting to do a lot more pad work and it's still fitness orientated, but you're going to start doing a lot more pad work and really starting to sharpen your techniques. And then when it comes to the advanced classes, that's when you're sparring, right? Boxing, I think it takes a little bit of time for you to get to the point where your coach will start to let you spar. Basically, everybody's different. Every martial art has different criteria. Every coach has their own criteria. I would ask your coach when you're ready to spar, or if you're not ready to spar yet, they will let you know what you need to work on and when you will be able to spar. Then number four, you want to stay consistent, right? Like you won't see too many noticeable improvements in your physique, your technique, etc., until you're training for at least three months minimum. By month three, that's when you're going to start to see, okay, I, I have an idea of what I'm doing. I'm getting better. I'm starting to lose weight. I'm starting to build muscle. I'm starting to see some six pack abs starting to appear, right? My jazz, my cross, they're starting to come together. I actually know how to do a rear naked choke. I can arm bar now, right? I, I think it was month three for me as far as training jujitsu goes. Month two or month three, that's when I was able to start actually getting submissions off while sparring. So I would say around month two or month three, and it's really going to be dependent on you and your journey with the martial art and how consistent you've been, how adaptive you have been to the martial art and how much information you've been able to retain. But that's around the two to three month mark is where you're going to see a lot of improvements in your body, your technique, your skills, your mindset, etc. But you got to stay consistent because the longer you do it, the more results that you will see. And then number five, be sure to take care of yourself. Get adequate rest. Make sure you're hydrated. Stretch. Stretch before you do your class, whether that's boxing, Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, MMA, etc. Be sure that you stretch after class when you get home. Just make sure that you're taking care of yourself. You're getting proper sleep. You have a proper diet. You want to take care of yourself because although martial arts is fun, although you're learning an amazing skill that will allow you to defend yourself and loved ones, you're going to be taking damage from time to time, right? Not severe damage. You are going to be putting stress on your body, just like how you put stress on your body if you're lifting weights. So you just want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself inside the gym and outside of the gym. And then number six, just enjoy yourself, man. Have fun. Martial arts is a lifestyle. You're constantly going to be evolving, becoming a better martial artist, a better person. You're constantly going to be learning more about yourself. And overall, it's just a lifestyle that you want to have fun with. And when you have fun with it, that's how you're going to be able to sustain it. And that's how you're going to be able to be consistent with it. And that's how you're going to be able to get the most out of martial arts. Those were the six reasons why I believe every man must learn how to fight and why they should take up a martial art. And when it comes to being the best version of yourself, if you want to become the most handsome and attractive version of yourself, if you want to be a man that women select, approach and pursue, then again, I would highly suggest that you check out my inbound attraction blueprint program. I'll have it linked down below in the description. And with that being said, I hope you got a lot of value from this video. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one.